Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. Save the Redwoods League has been doing work to protect our majestic California trees for 100 years now. And there are some great events coming up to celebrate the centennial. Here to tell us a little bit more about them is the organization's CEO, Sam Hodder. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. Thanks so much. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, tell us about uh, Save the Redwoods League. Well, we have been working for the last 100 years uh, to protect and restore the Redwood Forest and connect people to their peace and beauty. And on our 100th birthday, we wanted to celebrate with the people of California that have helped us protect these majestic forests. Uh, and um, to think about the conservation work that's coming ahead for our second 100 years. So we are having uh, some extraordinary celebrations. We've been celebrating all year, frankly, but uh, coming up on Saturday, October 13th, we have uh, Free Redwoods Day, where 100 redwood parks around California uh, are opening up to the public. You can get your passes at savetheredwoods.org and download free passes to any number of 100 parks in California. Ooh, what are some of them around the Bay Area? Oh, there's some fantastic forests in the, red, in the Bay Area. There's uh, certainly Butno or uh, Portola Redwood State Park. There's uh, Joaquin Miller in Oakland, which is a tremendous redwood park that actually Save the Redwoods League helped to protect back in the 1930s. Um, redwood Regional Park, there's an extraordinary uh, plethora of redwood parks here in the Bay Area where people can go and help us to celebrate on Free Redwoods Day. Very good. Tell us about some of the threats uh, right now that redwoods are facing. Well, um, the redwood forest is like nothing else in the world. It's an iconic California icon, uh, an iconic icon. Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> it's that iconic. <laughs> that iconic. Now, you put it twice in the same sentence. Yeah. Uh, so the redwood forest today, um, we've lost almost 95% of the ancient redwood forest mm. that once grew in California. And we've been working for the last 100 years to protect as much of what remains of that old growth forest as we can. Uh, and now our work ahead is about uh, restoring the forest that we've lost. There are still over a million acres of redwood forest that's unprotected. Uh, and that is managed in one de degree or another of commercial forests. So the opportunity to restore that forest and grow back that remarkable climate resistance um, that has been so critical to the resilience of California's landscape uh, and so inspiring for the people of the world mm -hmm. um, is our vision for our future. I'm now, when you say restore and redwoods, it's it's sort of difficult to wrap your head around because we all know that, you know, the, the big ones that we think of, those have been around for hundreds of years. Right, right. The so oldest... restoring them, we have to start with the skinny babies. <laughs> yes, and uh, what's incredible about redwoods, well, there are many things that are incredible about the redwoods. As you say, they can grow to be over 2,000 years old. Uh, the tallest redwood tree is over 380 feet tall. Um, wow. But they're also incredibly resilient and fast growing. So um, the, the young redwood forest that's growing back out of the very stumps that have been here for millions of years are growing back very quickly. And if we manage them well, and if we thin the forest such that we can accelerate the growth, um, we can begin to have that larger structure, those old growth characteristics, that habitat that's so representative of an old growth forest, to come back within a generation. Um, it's really quite remarkable how we can bring back the ecological condition of the forest that we've lost fairly quickly and encourage and accelerate those old growth conditions. And when you're talking about forest loss, I mean, we know wildfires are a threat, obviously, and, and, and just general logging, I suppose, or, or are these protected? I mean, when, when we're talking about the loss, where is that coming? coming from? Uh, that, that's a great question, and it is uh, a combination of things, certainly. It is that there is active commercial forestry on about a million acres of redwood forest today. Uh, and much of that forestry is, is critical to our communities. I mean, this is a sustainable wood product here in California. Um, our goal is to work with those private landowners to find appropriate places to restore the forest and let it grow back, to find a better balance so that uh, the carbon sequestration that's so unique in a redwood forest, the, the habitat conditions that are so critical for our resilience, and also the recreational inspiration that's so unique to the redwood forest. I mean, there are 31 million people who come to California every year to see the redwood forest. All right. Um, and, of course, very exciting that we're going to have the opportunity to do so for free coming up. So thanks for joining us and talking about that. And if you want to find out more information, we have it for you on the web. Free second Saturdays. And, of course, the Stand for the Redwoods Festival. That is Sunday, October 14th at Yerba Buena Gardens in San Francisco. So a lot of information at redwoodsfestivals.org. Coming up, Green the Church, when Bay Area Focus continues in a moment.